supermodel Helena Christensen has made an unusual confession, she used to buy used men's underwear and slip them on. In a confession that could rival one of Prince Harry's for being unnecessarily TMI, the 54-year-old model claims she used to buy men's pants from a seance hand shop. However, the professional model, who has been dressed by the biggest names in the fashion world, says this was back in her youth and that she found her obscure fashion choice funny rather than statement-worthy. Helena says she has long had a love for second-hand clothing and thinks it is important to recycle clothes whenever possible. Explaining all to Hello! Fashion Monthly, she said, I didn't have fashion magazines, but as a teenager one of my favorite stores was a second-hand one. I would buy men's underwear and ball gowns and pair them together. That was my look, it was funny. I feel so much joy going into a little store and looking through all these pieces that belong to somebody else, perhaps many, many decades ago. The history of them and the story they bring in their fabric of the women or men, because I buy both men's and women's clothing, that have carried them. I love the thought of that. She went on to explain that it was only after she became a professional model and the fashion world opened up to her that she was happy to model more elegant clothes. Helena burst onto the modeling scene in the 1990s, swiftly becoming one of the most photographed women in the world. She featured in a music video for Chris Isaac's Wicked Game in 1990, with the video going on to win MTV's Sexiest Video of All Time award. She has modeled for huge brands including Versace, Dolce & Gabbana and iconic underwear brand Victoria's Secret. She has also dated high-profile men in the past, enjoying a seven-year romance with Interpol singer Paul Banks and sharing a son with Walking Dead star Norman Reedus, who she dated for five years between 1998 and 2003. In the 90s, she had a five-year-long on-off romance with In Excess star Michael Hutchins. However the sister of the late Australian singer recently slammed the model for not revealing the fact Michael had suffered a brain injury when he was punched by a taxi driver on a visit to Denmark in August, 1992. Tina Hutchins told The Sun last year, I know Michael was so happy with Helena and there was a time when I could not imagine them not being together. But I did feel angry when I first found out about the assault, as I felt it was her duty to say something to his family. She added, there were all these awful stories about Michael after he died, in 1997, so for Helena not to tell us about the head injury was wrong. She was very close to our parents and could have easily reached out. I'm sure that if Michael didn't have that accident in Denmark, he would still be with us today. Follow Mirror Celebs on Snapchat, Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook.